Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 and we want to make sure you have the latest information about our efforts. Here's a look at how the coronavirus is impacting Johnson County, Kansas. As of this morning on Thursday, April 9th, we have 247 positive cases, 1,980 negatives. 12 of the positive cases have resulted in deaths, including one person in their 40s, three in their 70s, and eight in the 80 plus category. Those who have tested positive for the illness range in age. The age group most substantially impacted so far are those in their 50s. Johnson County MedAct Logistics Manager Scott Sayre has more information about the supplies needed in the county and those delivered and how they'll be used. Hello, my name is Scott Sayre with Johnson County Med Act. I'm the logistics manager here to provide an update today on a shipment we recently received from the national stockpile. Uh, what you see behind me is several supplies that were shipped uh, from the federal government to the state of Kansas, specifically here to Johnson County to be distributed to our health care facilities here in the county in addition to our fire departments, first responders, and Johnson County Med Act. Uh, the supplies that we received are things like uh, nitro gloves, N95 respirators, surgical masks, gowns, and things like that to provide basic levels of PPE for our responders to stay safe during this crisis. These supplies have been uh, delivered earlier this week. We've accounted for everything, and now we're in the process of distributing these to all of our local healthcare facilities, uh, including the hospitals, fire departments, and first responders uh, in the county. Um, what you see here is a collaboration of multiple departments within the county. Um, Johnson County Med Act here is the hosting facility for this delivery, but this has been a collaboration of our partners from corrections and facilities, public works, uh, the library department has, has graciously provided trucks and drivers to help get these supplies out into the community. Um, Johnson County has MedAct employees here uh, working on sorting and organizing these supplies so that we can get them out. Um, and we've been doing this since about 7 o'clock this morning and plan on working through the rest of the day and into tomorrow, um, urgently trying to get these supplies out as quickly as possible. Uh, this shipment of supplies will help tremendously in the local community to help meet our need now. Um, and again, just depending on how long this crisis continues, uh, we'll certainly be looking for additional supplies to come in the future. But the, the stuff that we've gotten in today and earlier this week is um, certainly putting a big dent in the need that we have. Stay strong, stay safe, and stay home. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.